What is up, Mental Patients? My name is Tormental, here with another Overwatch fan character video. Um, time to put up or shut up. I've made videos about fan-made content uh, in the past. I've made, I don't know, five or six videos, but I haven't really taken the time to, you know, step into the spotlight, or step out of the shadows, or step in a pile of shit, or I don't know what the fuck. But I haven't really taken the opportunity to show you what I would personally do. What would I what would I personally add to Overwatch? Well, surprise motherfuckers, here's my goddamn OC <laughs> for Overwatch, my Overwatch OC. My OWOC. That that's what we'll call it. Uh yeah, so I decided to just for fun make my own Overwatch character. I'm not pretending it's fantastic. I'm not pretending it's not overpowered or not underpowered. Uh, it probably sucks ass, I don't know. But I wanted to enter the arena, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring, or throw the towel, I don't know, throwing the towel is giving up, but... Here's the character. I'll, I'll stop rambling and just do it. Trixie. T-R-I-X-Y. Uh, Trixie is a troll-based character. Basically someone, I guess a support, would, would, she probably would be a support character. Um, basically put in the game to essentially give May a run for her money in terms of trolling people. Uh, here are the abilities. Mouse 1, the main weapon, is a slingshot, as you can see to her left there. A slingshot with an energy-based string, or <laughs> whatever you want to call that, uh, to fire explosive projectiles. The explosive projectiles are disguised as those little uh, squid toys. Like, if you've ever seen those wacky wall crawler toys, I'll probably put a picture of it up on the screen. But the special thing about her slingshot ammo is that it sticks to surfaces. So, like, whereas Junkrat's explosives, you know, bounce around and ricochet, and, you know, hopefully they hit someone and blow up, hers stick to things. So, if she manages to hit you with the slingshot, if she, you know, slings one of her little octopi uh, and it hits you, it just, you know, ex explodes, it causes damage, just normal, you know, like normal fire. However, if she misses, or if she, you know, purposefully aims at a wall or a surface or whatever, then the explosive sticks to that surface. It doesn't ricochet, it doesn't bounce, it just sticks tight, right where it landed, and if it gets, you know, if somebody touches it, which is, you know, just coming within a certain small radius of it, it explodes. So it's sort of like a delayed damage uh, thing. You know, you can fire it directly in someone's face, or you can, you know, stick the wall with a bunch of them, and then when someone walks by, you know, have them all explode on them. Or, you know, maybe you just miss. You know, you're not a good shot, and you miss your target, it goes over, it sticks in a doorway, explodes on the next person who comes through. So yeah, sticky bombs, essentially. Uh, fired by slingshot and shaped like little alien octopi toys. Mouse 2, her alternate fire, is basically just shotgunning. You know, she takes like a handful of those little squiddy dudes, you know, pulls them back on her en energy slingshot and just, you know, randomly fires a burst of them. And that, of course, means you have to reload every time you use the alt fire. Uh, it's sort of like a special thing. Like, you know, if you're in trouble, someone's right in your face, you want to just right-click on them, send a, you know little cluster of explosives, but also good if you want to, you know, say, cover a wall with the sticky explosives. Like, you're prepping, you're on defense, you know, you're setting up, Symmetra's putting up her sentries, Torbjorn's putting up his turret, you know, Junkrat's laying out his trap, and then you go and you just take a bunch of your little squiddy doos and you, you know, right-click and fire, you know, a little cluster of them on a wall, you know, that you think somebody's going to be walking by. So, yeah. Basically, it's sort of like... It's basically like Junkrat's, you know, fire, because I am a big, huge Junkrat fan, so you shouldn't be surprised, except without the ricochet. Instead of ricocheting, they stick to things. Uh, probably good for covering the uh, payload <laughs> or the objective with them. Um, I would say that you can only have a certain amount of them out at a time. Like, you can't just keep firing the little sticky guys all over the walls and cover them with, you know, like hundreds and hundreds of sticky bombs. You know, it probably would be like a limit of however many would be fair, you know, before they start disappearing as you fire. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, her E, her, you know, uh, special ability, is to feign death. So basically when you press E, if you're playing as Trixie, uh, she'll fall over dead, she'll ragdoll, and she'll make a death sound like blah, or, you know, ah, or whatever, you know, her death sound was, would be normally. 
um, ideally tricking the enemy team into thinking that they've killed you and moving on. So let's say you're in like a hallway or a room and someone starts shooting you. You quick, you press E, you fall over looking dead. And they don't really, you know, they don't think to check you. So they just go on and they go running out of the room and you're like, holy crap, that was close. And you go pick up a health pack. Um, the thing is, people will start to, you know, some people will say, oh, that's OP. You get to pretend you're dead. Well, there's two things with that. One, you know, once it starts happening to people, they're going to start checking bodies. So only in the midst of a real fevered battle is this going to help you, you know, in terms of that regard, where people are definitely going to ignore your corpse. Uh, secondly, they can still shoot you. So when you're feigning death, when you're faking being dead, they can still just look down at your body and just shoot you. I mean, you're a non-moving target, so it's going to be easy to kill you if you pull it off at the wrong time. Um, when you want to get back up, from feigning death, you would just press the space bar. You just would press the jump, you know, key. Whatever you have that bound to. And she just jumps back up, you know, ready for action. Um, I was thinking of some voice line, like, when she jumps up, where it would be like, just kidding, or something like that, so that people would know, oh, shit, somewhere, you know, a Trixie character just jumped up. <laughs> you know, so people would hear that, and they'd be like, oh, shit. Which is kind of another counter to that being kind of OP, to pretend to play dead. Um, shift... Uh, would be using the energy slingshot as a taser. She just sort of takes the two ends with that energy, you know, flowing between them, and she just kind of jabs it forward into whoever's right in front of her. Um, this would be very close range. It's not like, you know, McCree's stun. You know, McCree tosses the stun maybe mid-range, I would guess. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but, you know, he tosses it a little bit away from him to stun somebody. This would just be if somebody's really definitely right up in your grill. It's essentially like a stunning melee attack is what I'm saying. So, yeah, and the voice lines for that, I was thinking it would be funny if, you know, when she tases somebody, you know, that close-range stun, I think it would be really funny if her voice lines were like, I don't know you, that's my purse! You know, like <laughs> like the things you'd be shouting when you're tasing somebody. Because, uh, yeah, if you haven't picked it up already, Trixie is a bit demented. Um, I modeled her and actually based the drawing of her off a drawing by Bruce Tim of Harley Quinn. And the reason I did that is because, you know, Junkrat, my favorite character, you know, obviously kind of an homage to the Joker. So I thought, you know, it might be kind of a little bit clever, a little bit slick to, you know, put in an OC character who's a bit modeled on Harley Quinn. Uh, ideally, she doesn't look and act too much like Harley Quinn. You know, she's not intended to be a ripoff. It's just sort of supposed to be, like, inspired by. So, you know. As you can tell, she has a definite toy uh, theme, you know, she's got the little troll on her belt, little troll stuffed animal, uh, to go along with her troll personality. Uh, the laser gun that she has, like the old sci-fi retro toy laser gun, would be what she would use her alt with, you know, she'd like pull that out and zap somebody. And the, of course, little explosives are based on the wacky wall crawlers. So yeah, let's get into her ultimate, which you probably have already read on the screen. Her alt is the ability to hit an enemy... And she, again, pulls out the little ray gun and gets off one little zap. Uh, when she hits an enemy, that enemy's attacks will heal your team instead of doing damage. So, to go through that, let's say Soldier 76 is running toward your team. You know, Trixie uses her ult on him. Now all of the shots from his gun do healing power to your team instead of doing damage. So it can heal your team up and he's trying to shoot you dead. Uh, if Roadhog is ulting, and he's got his whole hog gun out, and he's like just going butta 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 butta, and you know, flinging everybody any everywhere. If Trixie manages to ult him, then she would turn all of his damage into healing power, and all Roadhog would be do doing is flinging people through the air and healing them at the same time. It's a very trollish power. It's a it's meant to be annoying, and I think it can really turn the tide of you know, a match where the other team is, like, ulting your team. Like, let's say... See, this is the thing, you know, if the other team, if the enemy team has a Zarya, and she gets you all in the gravity well, or whatever you call that, and you're all stuck together, and then Farah, the enemy Farah, flies up above you, and she goes, Justice range from above! You know, that's pretty much it for your team. Your team is pretty much dead. You know, there's no way to counter that. You know, maybe if Reinhardt's shield is up... Or, you know, whatever. But that's about it. And even that will probably break before it can do any good. But the thing is, you know, with Trixie, 
you know, Zarya puts everybody in the gravity well, if Trixie has her ult up and she manages to hit Farah, you know, because remember, there is skill involved. She has to hit the Farah with the laser. You know, then when Farah goes, Justice rains from above, all the rockets she sends down will be healing your fucking team. And it sort of, like, reverses that, and she sort of steals the ult, you know, in order to heal everybody. Um, if Trixie does miss with her ult and she doesn't hit uh, an enemy player, then it will just create, like, a small radius, like, sort of like when Hanzo has his dragon's vision or dragon's eye or dragon's sight or whatever it is. You know, it would create a little radius around where her shot landed, and any enemies in that circle, you know, would then do healing, you know, to your team instead of damage. Uh, you know, people probably will say, that's OP! You know, but I, I would disagree, because I think, you know, this is a very specific usage. Uh, let's say there's a problem Bastion. Like, Bastion is just sitting over the objective, and every time your team comes in, you know, the enemy is all, you know, fighting you, and then the Bastion just picks you off from up above. You know, nobody likes that scenario. That's like a big lockout, and you're kind of like, ah, damn it. And somebody handle the Bastion. You know, there's no way to take care of it. Uh, if Trixie has her ult up, she could come into the objective with you when you're rushing in, use her ult on the Bastion, and guess what? Up there above the objective, you have a healer now who's just peppering you all with healing. <laughs> you know, because now his damage is converted into healing. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, the ult would be a short-lived thing like everybody else's ultimate. You know, it wouldn't be like a big, huge, long-lasting, crazy thing. Uh, feigning death doesn't make you immortal. I'm just trying to think of all the different things I wanted to cover in this, but that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so that's my character, Trixie. Um, yeah. She's wearing mismatched socks. <laughs>